Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to paint without actually using paints. This, we are not using this today. No, no, we are definitely not using paint today. Now, you're going to notice I'm using printer paper. This is a huge no-no in painting. No, do not use printer paper. Last thing I'm going to tell you to do is use printer paper. But I'm using printer paper for my purposes. I have a lot of reasons because I'm packing up for a vacation and I love to paint. Um, I'm, I'm bringing my watercolor paper with me. It's all packed up and I don't want to go and get it. So I just thought I might as well use printer paper. So, yeah, that's all you need. No paint, no. So this is where you're going to need some watercolor crayons, a piece of paper, and a cup with water in it. Uh, paint brushes and a sponge are optional. Right now I'm going to talk about what these water crayons are. These are these um, fantastic watercolor crayons. This is a pack I got. Um, I'm not sure where I got it from or what store, because I won it from a art competition. I won this from an art competition. But it should come with basic colors like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, and black. These basic colors it should come with, and if it doesn't, you might as well get them. So, yeah, so that's what I've got in my pack. And I'm sure that um, there's um, this store, art store called Michael's. Um, I'm telling you, Michael's is great for um, arts and crafts. Um, but, yeah, and this does include arts and crafts. So you can get these from Michael's. Michael's is also great for just arts and crafts, you know what I mean? So, you can get that from Michael's. They're called watercolor crayons. They should please at least have these eight colors, at least. And there's a lot of cool things you can do. I'm going to show you some techniques today. Okay, so this video is not going to be like a how to draw video. It's going to be showing you techniques you can do with these cool watercolor crayons. Um, I stink at painting. Yes, I just paint for fun. I paint the easy things like roses, but I do not paint hard things. Trust me, I don't. Okay, so this is how I do. Um, I'm just going to show you how it works. There's a lot of ways to use these. I'm going to show you my first way. I like to just I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna just rub some black onto the paper. And then let's say I don't like the black, I want it to be a little lighter. And uh, I wanna mix it with a little violet to get a very dark violet so it looks nice. I like the dark violets, I think they look very pretty. And I've actually never tried this, but a friend told me that this technique is really good. And then you can, uh, uh, you can dip your finger and just blend it together and it works. I thought that's kind of cool. And if, and you'll notice that you get paint on your finger when you try that. But if you try using a brush, you can just dip it and you can just wet it. I do not recommend printer paper because you see what's happening right now? The water is just going right through the paper. That is not a good thing. I'm using printer paper because I told you my watercolor paper is all packed and you see that you can get this puddle right there. But anyway, I'm going to show you some brighter colors. Let's try a orange and a blue. I have no idea what that's going to get. I've never tried mixing orange and blue. Seriously, I'm not joking. I've never tried mixing those two colors. I'm going to dip my paintbrush. I'm just going to brush lightly over it. I think get a pretty white color. And that's one of the cool things you can do. Also, you can, I'm going to show you another technique. I'm going to try to blend red and yellow. And of course, we all know that what that's going to get us. Because they're primary colors. Just like that. And then what I'm going to take now is my sponge, because that was optional. 
I'm going to dip it in my water. I think my mom just cleaned the dishes, so if it's okay if I get a little soap on here from the dishes. And my friend told me that sponges work great for this. See? The orange paint is just coming out of there. Sorry if you get your sponge a little dirty. And you can just go like that and you get this beautiful orange watery color. I like to call that organic food coloring. Although I would never recommend putting that in your food because it's paint. I think that's kind of cool with the sponge. So you can like, let's say you don't feel like painting a sky, you can just do this. I just like to fool around and experiment and see what I get. And let's see, say it gets too wet. You just, whoa, whoa, whoa. And all the orange just went right into the paper towel. But anyway, I'm just going to wipe my hands real quick. All right. Gets a little wet. You know what I mean? Okay, let's move on to another little corner. See what we can experiment with. Ah, uh, let's see. Now I'm going to show you a really cool tip. It's called dipping the crayon tip into the water and then coloring like that. Just dip it in the water, get it wet, and you'll get this beautiful watercolor. And if you just put your hand around in it and smush it up a little, it comes out like watercolor. It's very cool. And if you just run your finger along the crayon, you get watercolor on you and you can just finger paint. I found that kind of cool as well. So you can just dip and paint. That's how cool is that? It's kind of like painting, except this is your brush and your Dipping on water instead of paint, I found that kind of cool. Then I just like to dry my brush like that, even though it does not really work. <laughs> and then I put it back in my box. Okay, next color, because everyone's probably jealous of red, because I made so many compliments with red. Um, poor blue, I mean green. I don't even think I've used green once. I use green a lot for, like, green grass and all that. The nature, the nature is very greenish. Another way you can use this is you can just color. And then what I like to take is I like to wet my brush. Try not to get your brush too wet because you know I'm, uh, printer paper is a huge no-no to art. And then you can just put over like that. I found that kind of cool. So there's so many cool techniques you can do with watercolor crayons so i would really recommend getting these and they're not that expensive and um whoo did he ruin the box huh. okay anyway so again this is the brand i get you might as well take a picture right now so that you do not lose that or pause the video right now okay anyway so those are some cool techniques i'm showing you and yeah so i hope you go away from this lesson with an understanding and i did this entire thing with no paint at all now i'm going to show you what you can do with this i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry uh my camera is giving me a hard time it, it cut off so yeah so anyway i luckily did not draw the sunglasses and then i realized my camera cut all of that off so I did not draw the sunglasses and I restarted this. So now you're just gonna draw sunglasses. I'm gonna quickly draw them so that we can just see what we can do with sunglasses. Now, of course, sunglasses have to be black, but you're probably thinking in your head, black is so boring. Like anything more interesting than that. I know a lot of people like black, like their flavored color or something. Sorry about my accent did. Okay, so. A lot of people like black, it's like their favorite color and all that, but I think purple looks good with black. I've never, actually never tried blending these two colors together. Let's see, what would happen if I added some purple and some blue, blue? No, 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 that's too cool for summer, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, you're supposed to be cool in summer, you know what I mean? I'm getting myself confused, don't worry. Okay. Uh, a little more purple. You can barely see the purple because the black is all black, you know. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now I think I'll, we need a little more black. I'm so sorry. I'm so picky. Okay. And now comes our magic. 
I'm gonna just dip my brush in water. Water. I did all the dipping in front of you because I wanted to show you that it was very normal. And now I'm just gonna go wind and wind and wind. And now notice when I do this, you can still see the crayon underneath. I think that gives it a really cool touch. Cause it makes it look like, whoa, you colored and you painted and how did you do that? And I have a lot of friends who say that to me. And I kind of like the texture that the crayon makes because it looks very sunglassy. I don't know if you know what I mean, but the texture just looks very sunglassy. So I'll do the other side really quickly. Before I added the um, before I add the water, I just want to show you how um, on this side you can see. Let me zoom in a little. On this side you can see the lines going like that. Like that diagonal, instead of going that way, you can see the lines going that way. And notice how on this side, the lines are going that way also, instead of going that way. I'm probably talking to you like you're two years old. I'm so sorry. But anyway, that's very important because I think that gives it like a more sunglassy look. Notice I am dipping my paintbrush in water in front of your eyes because... There's a lot of people out there who do not believe me. They don't trust me that I'm actually dipping in water. They think I'm dipping in, like, paint. But no. See, it's real paint. I painted out the lines on purpose to show you that this is real paint. And you know what gives it a nice touch? Painting in this direction. But, you know, painting in the same direction. You can't really see it, but I think it gives it a nice touch. So... Yeah, that's how I do it. Now you're going to notice the crayon lines we made for the sunglasses. Whoa, um, I think I'm going to use a, I've never tried this, but I'm going to experiment if we could take a piece of paper towel, dip it in water, just like that, it's really wet. Try not to make it too wet, if, especially if you're using printer paper like me. Then you can just roll it up in a ball, and let me see if this works. Not bad. Doesn't really work. Let's try another thing. What's really summary? Oh, beach ball. How could we forget that? I think... No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beach ball. Beach. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost spilled. Almost spilled. Almost spilled. And I don't know how to draw a beach ball. I've never tried drawing one. Except today. Uh, you just color all the sections a different color. Uh, I'm going to make it all summery colors. Like that. Like that. Like that. And make it all cool and all that. And then I want to try the paper towel technique again. So you just roll it up in a bunch. And stick it into the paint. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to see if this works. Not bad. Good for skies, I can say that. Then you can just go right across. I wonder how it would look if I blended all the colors together. Hi, I want to thank you so much, you wonderful viewers, for watching this video. Hope you subscribe to my channel. So, bye!